next into the tank is an affordable way to enjoy a luxury. Hi Sharks, my name is Tommy Prestella and I'm an Air Force pilot from San Dimas, California. I'm here today seeking $100,000 for 25% of my company. Now Sharks, I love summer days as much as the next guy. What's not to love, right? I mean, backyard barbecues, evening baseball games, I love it all. But Sharks, there's one thing about summer that I just really don't like. Uh-oh. It's freaking hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if you've been stationed in the deep south like I have for the last 12 years, or deployed overseas to Iraq, Afghanistan, Africa, you know that those places get crazy hot. I got sick and tired of sweating through my clothes every time I stepped outside and just always being uncomfortable. Oh. So I fused together a creative way to stay cool and beat the summer heat. Sharks, you guys ready to cool off? Yeah. yeah. Sure we are. Introducing yeah. the yeah. one and only <laughs> pickup pool. <laughs> Sharks, as you can see, the pickup pool is the ultimate <laughs> truck bed swimming pool. This patented pool liner instantly transforms the bed of your pickup truck into an above ground pool. Simply pull the corners of the pickup pool over the corners of your truck bed, add water, and bam you're ready for a pool party. <laughs> wow. When you're done, there's a drain at the back. You can drain the water without lowering your tailgate. I like it. Now, Sharks, the pick a pool is a brand new product in an untapped market. So what do you say? Who wants to go for a swim and make a deal with pick a pool? How did you come up with this? My inspiration was my daughter. Aww. Way back when, when I got the idea for this, we were living in Arkansas, it's 2014, crazy hot summer. And my daughter says, Daddy, I want to go swimming. And I'm like, I'm heartbroken. And she's heartbroken because I don't have a swimming pool. So I was like, well, Aww. I was like, let's see what I can do. I go in the garage. I'd seen it done before. I was like, oh, we'll get a tarp. I got some bungee cords. I make this thing in the back of my truck. And it's, it worked, but it was an ugly mess. And what if it leaks? These do not leak. These are a very thick, durable material, lifetime guarantee on them. It's the same stuff above ground pool liners are that last 30 years. Yeah, wow. Good for you, Tom. First of all, thank you for your service. Hey, it's my pleasure. What's thank the you. patent for? So the patent is, it's the adaptable watertight barrier. I'm the only person who can make the bed of the pickup truck watertight. So where are you selling these now? So I sell them mainly online. How much do you sell them for? So they cost me 110 and 117 to make for the two sizes. And then I sell them through my website for 200 and 210 respectively. How much have you sold? Year to date, $7,060. Killing it, huh? <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> Lifetime sales, $12,000. But there's a story there. What's the story? I got the idea in 2014, did a proof of concept in 2015, bought 20 pools. Immediately, I got the website up. I'm getting hits on the website, and I'm like, people really like this. I sell those 20, I go back to get more, manufacturer retired. That sucks. So now I'm back at square one with nobody to make the pools. So 2016's pretty much gone, me looking for a manufacturer. 2017, deployed to uh, undisclosed location in Africa. But I had to obviously hit the brakes on pickup pools because I was a one-man show at the time. So I brought my sister on, very responsible, love my sister to death. She found me the manufacturer who makes this. Wow, she, nice. She's part owner. She's got a percentage of the company as well. Good. That's so, not her in there, right? No. So can I talk about her? That's my beautiful wife of 12 years right now. So, so supporting me Well, who's the guy she's fooling like around with? <laughs> yeah. She's in a hot tub with some other guy. Yeah, that's my best friend from college. That's, oh. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what are you going to do going forward? What's the plan? So the reason I'm asking for money today, I want to reduce my website and figure out how to drive traffic to my website. My website right now, it, it looks nice, but I made it. I'm not a web developer. I'm really proud of myself I made a website. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I want to have a professional redo my website. You're basically saying you're going to spend the money to market the product. The product's in the market. It's good quality. 12,000 lifetime sales since the beginning is really abysmal. OK. I mean, well, look at it this the way. The guy then. gets deployed to an unknown, to be unnamed place I get in it, Africa. But, but the product's I got this. Thank you, Mark. I got this but one. You mean, is the only way it can <laughs> sell is you, Tommy, are like barking at the internet? I just don't know if people care. You've sold $12,000 worth of it. Like, it's total That's nothing. That's an 800% increase from last year, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah. What do your platoon buddies think of it? Oh, they love it. I've actually I've uh, brought it to 
uh, undisclosed location in the Middle East. Tommy, <laughs> who would work your business? You're still full-time military. I, I am married to the military for the next eight years, so there, I, there's no pulling the wool over your guys' eyes here. Yeah, so but then I, that's back to the question, who would work your business? Your My sister is the uh, other part of me. Where's she based? She's here in Southern California. Can you get the price, the cost down lower? Thank you for asking that. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud to say they're 100% made in America. Good. It's part of the reason why it's so expensive. I want to make it for $25 right. and sell it for 60. That's where I'm trying to get with this. I think there's room to get that done a lot cheaper. Listen, I think uh, you did a good job of name, pickup pools, <laughs> intuitive. You got a patent, great job. My problem here is I have no idea of the market. I believe you, it would work and keep people cool, but I have no idea of the market research. Yeah, no, and under, for those reasons, I'm up. Tommy, you're a great guy. I really admire the, the effort you've put into it. I, I just don't know if there's a business. You haven't sold very much. You've got to find a way to get from 20 or 30 to hundreds. Well, think of the value you're going to add when you join me, Rob. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we have all those resources. You're a great sales guy. Right? I'm not jumping in the pool with you. I'm out. This thing you fill up with water, and the next hour you got to drive somewhere. Forget it. No, don't, don't, <laughs> don't drive with it. Now look, the product is telling you, Tommy, I don't think so. I'm out from an undisclosed location. <laughs> <laughs> Copy that. I'm going to make you an offer, because I think it's Whoa! Like, I, th I love Didn't this I Didn't see product. that coming. I love it, too. But I have a few contingencies. Your sister has to be committed to it. She is. It has to have a salesman, and I really have to like your sister. Oh, you're going to love her. You have to bring the price down to under 100 bucks. I absolutely think that. I believe you. With those contingencies, I'll give you the 100000 for 25%. OK. Tell me, is there anybody that has a formal product? No, sir. No, on? I am the only person that, that sells this. And you think your um, patent protects you from anybody else doing it? Absolutely. I don't think so. Anybody it's can get watertight. a piece of plastic, throw it in the back of a truck. I'll offer you $100,000 for 33%. No contingencies, recognizing that you're going to be off quite a bit. We'll just work together to get the price down. I'll also get this to my guys at Tower Paddleboard. They can get out there and start promoting. That's it, Tommy. Let's rock and roll. What do you think? Barbara, I love watching Tommy, you. Tommy, you have two offers. I, thank you for I that. can't believe thank it. Thank you for that amazing deal. Wait, wait, just deal. a minute. The last time somebody told me he loved me, he left me and married my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. I would never do that to you. Mark, I, I appreciate don't negotiate. that you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, don't negotiate. <laughs> Let's do a deal. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, God. What a lot of fun, man. Hey, no, absolutely. Barbara is your sister. Oh. I guess he fun, is. Man. Thanks for what you do. I have no oh, idea if the business is going to work, but it was a great pick. Hey, it's It'll a work. pleasure meeting you guys. Great Thank guy. you very Thank much. You Thank you for your service. Shaka room. Thanks, Tommy. Wow. Mark's deal was not necessarily sweeter in terms of money, but he understands what my work life is like, and he's, he's willing to flex on that. So that's why I ended up going with Mark. First in the tank is a modern revamp of a stale product. Hi Sharks, I'm Leslie, and this is my husband Greg. We're from Short Hills, New Jersey, and we're seeking $1 million for 6% equity in our business. Hello. Wow. Sharks, picture this. It's the perfect beach day, and you can't wait to dig your toes into the sand. You put on your favorite beach outfit, you go to dig out your beach gear, and then... Oh, oh no. no! Clunky. Outdated. Uninspired. Beach gear hasn't changed for 100 years. True. Until now. Introducing... Sunflow. A completely reimagined premium beach chair that opens big and comfortable, but closes small with just the push of a button. With wow. both fashion and function in mind, we also created thoughtful accessories like... Our water-resistant dry bag to protect your precious mobile phone. Smart. A drink holder that rotates and adjusts to fit all different sized beverages. And Leslie's favorite accessory... A double panel <laughs> canopy that protects your skin from 98% of the sun's harmful so rays. clever. You just recline, and you're all set. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to pack up? Just push the top button, 
and collapse it. Nice. Wow. Voila, you're Very good to impressive. go. <laughs> so sharks, who wants to swim to shore and help Sunflow make every day a, a beach, beach day. day. I'd like to buy a dozen. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea that let's make a great beach chair? Did you have backgrounds in any of these? Are you an engineer? No, but I'm, I'm a handbag designer. So we started a fashion line of handbags right after we got married. We were partners in that business for many years. We actually had to learn the process of sketching something, right. finding the factory, finding the materials. Now would be the time to tell us the phenomenal sales numbers, which I'm sure is going to blow all of us away. Because there is a 60 million pound elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah. That's your valuation. <laughs> um, we launched 13 and a half months ago. Uh, we have 2.9 million wow. in sales. Wow. Um, we're on track to grow 409% this year. Talk us through the distribution. Where did you sell that? Direct? 100% direct to consumer. We haven't wow. even touched any Ooh, wholesale yet. I like yet. that. That's great. Congratulations. What do you sell them for? What's your cost? We are selling the product. The chair itself is 198. That chair retails for 198? 198 without the accessories. It seems, it seems 60. high. 60% of our customers buy every single chair accessory. Let's break down the numbers. 198 for the chair, 48 for the sunshade, 25 for the drink holder, 25 for the What's dry What's your margin bag. on this piece of plastic when you sell for 25 bucks? That is 78% uh, margin. Wow. What does it cost for you to make one chair that Landed. you're selling? Sure. For uh, $70 to make a chair landed. But we sell three accessories for every chair we sell. So we have sold 11,000 chairs, but 44,000 units have sold. Your numbers blow me away. Thank Amazing. you. Leslie, what drove you to become entrepreneurs? Um, so my parents immigrated from Taiwan 50 years ago. They're very um, proud of the fact that they came here with nothing but a little piece of gold in the bottom of their toothpaste tube. So Aww. I watched them both work really yeah. hard. And my father um, actually was an entrepreneur. He started a business in the basement of our house. He started a construction company and he built it to be a multi-million dollar company. Wow. And he was, we're so proud of him. And he actually passed away a little over a week ago. Oh mm. no, I'm sorry. Um, so to be here is very special. Mm. Sorry to hear that, that's too bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, but he'd be so proud. Back to our reality here. Let's talk about these numbers here. Um, I give you a million dollars for 6%. I'd have to see 32 million valuation on this company, let's say in the next 24 months, 36 months, to even get a chance to double my money. Well, if you only double your money, I'd be really disappointed. Yeah. This yeah. is an enormous market, the outdoor market. Just on a beach chair. No, I have so many products in the pipeline. I'm already developing a higher chair that's, you know, a lot of people requested it. I started one. developing that three years ago. I was going to ask Just so you, you know. about a longer chair. Yes, it's gonna, we, we were talking about a lounger and I have an amazing table that's coming. We've expanded beyond just chairs. We are building a beach brand. I love your relationship, very good energy. Your dad's immigrant story resonated a lot with me, with your father. My dad only went third grade in school because after that he was sent to a concentration camp and he had so much joy with my mom of seeing me go to the first person in our generation to go to college and graduate school. And I feel that your dad is here with us and so is my dad. And so I like all of that. Here's my offer. I would give you the million dollars I was gonna say 25%, but I'm gonna say 22.5%. Thank you. I wanna go back to something Kevin asked, how do you make money? This will be one of the most successful businesses from Shark Tank. I'm not saying that because I'm arrogant, and I hope you could see we're, we're humble. You seem humble. Thank you. I wouldn't go that far, but uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, he's pretty humble. <laughs> this is gonna be a hundred million dollar plus business. Okay, let's let's stop there, because that's a great talking point. Yeah. But the number that matters as it relates to valuation, based off of what you've um, offered us, yes. is $16 million in distributable cash. When will you have $16 million in distributable cash? Because 6% of that is $1 million. Of course. That's how we only, not even a return. Of course. That's just to get our money back. When I talk about scaling a company, it really has to scale. Right. Leslie and Greg, I gave you an products, offer. Do you guys want to accept it or counter? We uh, will respond to both. We hope that if any or all of you invest, that you're along for the ride. This isn't a goal to distribute money a year from now. I didn't say uh, when, I just said it all. Well, 
Um, I'm getting a little bit impatient, though. I might go hang out Daniel, at the beach if you don't make, respond make you to wait. We're, we're not even close, so I don't want to... Do you want a counter? Uh, just, because uh, it's not just think, a million dollars, it's, an, it's millions offer. of dollars in time from my team and from myself. Yeah. I've seen what it takes. I, I'd like to invest in this business, but it's so far stretched, a million bucks is still a million bucks. Go ahead and counter, Greg. This year, we're gonna do close to four million. Next year, our goal is to do 10 million, and we're estimating a 20% net income, so $2 million. Multiples on this in this industry are 22 times right now. So we believe our business will be worth $44 million, unrealized. <laughs> hey, you're Greg and Leslie, that you're, is our, oh, you're answering way. a lot of questions. I ran out of patience. I waited Thanks, for you to sorry. give me a counter. You could have given me a counter. I'd like you to do not want to give me a counter. I'd I'm like to, out. Okay. Hey, guys, uh, I'll, clear, I'll clear the deck, too. It's a great business for you, but it's not something I want to invest in. I'm out. Okay. I think you're overconfident, and I wish I would share that confidence with you, but because I don't, I don't believe it, I'm out. You did come in at a very high valuation. You did rocket sales fast, which is great, but also sometimes that can slow. So unfortunately, I'm out. We understand. All roads lead to? All roads lead back to Mr. Wonderful, as usual. I'm struggling like all the other sharks are in the valuation and just the returns. I understand. Okay, and you are in the shark tank. So, here's my offer. I'll do the million bucks, okay? I'll take a 4% equity position, all right? Less than you're offering me, but I want five bucks a share on a royalty until I recoup $2 million, all right? Then the royalty goes away and I stay your partner at 4%. Wow. Yeah, well. I would say ouch on that one. No, that's not as bad as it sounds. I think it's too aggressive, though, to... How? How yeah. so? Uh, Two million dollars returned to you um, after All investing. I wanted ever was to double my money. Yeah, so can I counter? Sure. Yeah. So the 4% equity, but instead of $5 per chair, up to 2 million, up to 1 million so that you're no longer at risk, but then when we've paid you back, you're our, our ongoing partner. So. My Kevin, if you say no to that, you're crazy. With no chance of a return other than one day getting an exit with a 4% position. That's basically what you're offering me. Kevin, it's actually not a bad offer. It's pretty bad because six percent. He he has no. It's not bad at all. Half of his equity for it's the. It's not bad at all. I'm shocked that he offered it. I'm willing to be flexible. I'll do your deal if you get me back to the six percent. I give you my million dollars. I'm your six percent partner, but I get nothing back in my cash except the return of it on the royalty at five dollars a share. I'll do that deal. Five <laughs> percent. <laughs> and and we pay you back the five dollars per chair till we get to a million, and we have a deal. Done. There you go, uh, Kevin. Good job. Congratulations, guys. Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> a phenomenal presentation. Are we allowed to shake hands? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations, Thank guys. You. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know my dad's watching right now, and just knowing that you can take a dream and make it into something, you know, a reality, it's, it's, uh, it's something I watched him do. And now we're doing it. Next up is a tool to help you become king or queen of your own castle. Hello, Sharks. My name is Kevin Lane. And I'm Lori Lane from New Milford, Connecticut. We are seeking $350,000 for 10% equity in our company, Create a Castle. Everybody loves to vacation at the beach. I know that I could lay in the sun for hours with our daughter. Our son would stay in the water all day if we let him. And if you're anything like my husband here, you like to spend hours and hours and hours ignoring his family building the most elaborate sandcastles. But it's impossible to build a real sandcastle using the traditional fill and flip buckets. The wet sand sticks in the bucket, but even at its best, it just looks boring. boring. <laughs> That's why we invented Create a Castle, revolutionary split mold sand castle kits that allow you to build elaborate sand structures in no time at all. Just buckle it, pack it, unbuckle it, and, well, create a castle. <laughs> Our pro kit includes 
a 10 inch cylinder for the base, a corbel to add a new level of intricacy, a stackable six inch piece for additional height, a ridge battlement brick form to add to the towers, and a window cutter to etch out elegant windows. Then sit back, relax, and enjoy the admiration of everyone on the beach. So Sharks, who wants to create an empire with us bringing families together one castle at a time with Create a Castle. castle. I have six kids. I'm a, a mom and bonus mom to six right, kids, OK? That's awesome. Awesome. So, so we spend a lot of time on the beach, and I love this. Is there anything like this out there? Because I feel like I've seen something similar. Nothing like this. We're no. unique in the fact that we split, so the molds split in half, but they also are stackable in the right kind of sand. You can build that entire beaches. castle. Yep. How long does that take? That took me under two hours. Wow. I see a patent. Do you want to tell us about that? Yes, so go ahead. We have. Yeah, we have 12 patents worldwide. 12? 12. Oh, wow. 12. Does your patent, you believe that protects you against anybody who wants to start splitting their we toys have, open? We have broad coverage. It scales up and down. That's why we're, we're going down into the indoor line now as well. All right, guys, look. This is a very, very seasonal product. It works in the snow. Oh! oh. Yes. oh. Yes. oh. Yes. oh. Thank you, Mr. So, yeah, so it does. It works year round. We figured that out the first year we did it, yep. and you can stack like it's crazy. It's like Elsa's castle That's in it. the winter. Yeah. 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 That's See? really, really cute. I was cute. about to say, who wants yeah. a castle in the winter? But yeah. Elsa? Elsa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, what are the price ranges? What's the least and what's the most? So we go the toolkit that we have there, the small box, that's $10, and then the pro kit retails for $50. What's your landed cost on this? Um, the little one is landed at $2. The pro kit, that costs us $9.45. So what did you sell last year? You're imputing a value of a $3.5 yeah, so million on this. Last big... year, we did $600,000, and then this year, we are doing $3 million. Whoa. $3 million? Wait a minute. Whoa. How did that just happen? Are you happen? kidding me? What we, are in... we landed Costco Canada and as well Sam's as Sam's Club. Club. On the 600,000 in sales last year, what did you make on that? We were actually negative 100,000. We lost money last year. Why? And that was really due to the shipping costs were like 5x what we had budgeted. Because of COVID. Yep. Yeah, like okay. we used to get a container in for, you know, four to 6,000 and, you know, a couple of our containers last year were 25,000. Yeah. Yeah. And, right. and the 3 million in sales, including the Costco and Sam's Club ordered, what do you think you'll make on that? This year we're gonna make about 300,000. What is your margin to Costco then? The margin we made about um, 27 to 32 percent margin. So that's so part of your challenge. Less, yes. Yeah. Okay. What are you looking for help for? Because right now it looks like you are scaling really well. I understand you need to reduce costs, but what else are you looking for? I think mostly we need, you know, with the, the capital that we're asking for to invest into more product, and we just need expertise. We've made so many mistakes. And we're, we're expanding into a whole, we want to open up a whole licensing version. A what? A licensing version. Did you so, say Damon? Oh. You're looking for $350,000. I'm gonna assume that's primarily for inventory. And yeah. you're trying to figure out the Costco order translating into a US Costco order, correct? Because a lot of people test Are you up in sure? Canada. Yeah, Are you not sure that you can make money off of that order? Yeah, not necessarily. I mean, we've learned a lot getting into the big Are box Are you going to make money on the stuff. Costco order? Because they're going to ask you for some co-op advertising as well? Right. For that and markdowns yeah, and everything. For, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we know we have and the percentage And they have the right to return the last 15% of it? Yes. <laughs> So, okay, so, so and you've we've had, all, sounds like you've had returns and markdowns. Yes, yep. yes, we've and been that's, experiencing that. that's impacted that. your 27% margins even worse. Yes. Yeah, guys, I think there's too much of an emphasis on sales rather than profits. Every entrepreneur gets really hyped about doing business with big box retailers, mm -hmm. yep. but the reality is it's just going to take more and more cash like you found out. And so, you know, chasing margin and profits is good. Chasing sales, in my mind, particularly in this, these uncertain days, is bad. And so, for those reasons, I'm out. Okay. Guys, look, guys, let me tell you where I'm at. I'm looking at the business model strict as, strictly as an investment. Anytime it's 350,000, that's serious capital. I'm not even going to beat you up on the 3.5 million valuation, although I should. It's in my DNA to do that, but I'm going to hold back because I'm under anger management this year. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, it's not investable yet because the business model isn't nailed down. My sense is to dump the low end completely, raise the prices 30%, sell only on your own website direct, otherwise you're never gonna make any money. I'm out. Okay.
Thank you. Listen, Thank you. I, I don't agree with what he just said. Your price point, I think, is excellent. And I have always found I like to make products for the masses. I like to make things where everybody can afford and enjoy it. But I think for me, it's not something that I want to invest in. I don't invest in everything that I like. You're doing everything right, and I wish you good luck, but I'm out. I absolutely love this product. Thank you. It brings me joy, and I love your price point, and I actually totally disagree with Kevin. I think you want a balance of wholesale and retail. Now, coming from a retailer myself who sells an omni-channel, I sell wholesale, I sell direct-to-consumer online, and I have my own retail stores. I think you can do it very thoughtfully. Now, some of the discount retailers, I will agree with Kevin, can absolutely kill you. So being thoughtful about where you go but I think you've got a home run. I'm going to give you an offer. I'm gonna give you 350,000, but I don't think your valuation's 3.5 million. Okay. You lost $100,000 last year. So I don't see the 3.5, but I do see that there's going to be great potential and opportunity. I'd like to give you 350,000 for 20%. And I think I can help you with that omni-channel, which I do think is gonna help you build the business the way you wanna build it. Okay. Awesome. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Three sharks are out. Kendra has made an offer of $350,000 for a 20% stake in Kevin and Lori's sandcastle toy, Create a Castle. I think I can help you with that omni-channel, which I do think is gonna help you build the business the way you wanna build it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I like this, uh, but Mark has a valid point. You know, this is going to be your personal decision, right? Do you uh, raise the price, stay online, and, you know, net more? Or do you want to go big? Do you bring in a shark and you go big? But if you go big, it's a huge cash suck. Massive. So I'm only interested in this for the licensing aspect. That's a personal decision, but I will give you the $350,000 for 25%, and licensing is the key. You know, awesome. look, you, I disagree guys. with Damon. I don't think this is just a licensing play, and I don't see why you guys can't be the next big toy manufacturer. So that's what I want to do. I want you to dream big, and I think I can help you get By there. By the way, when I say dream big, I'm talking about dreaming big. So, what do you want to do? Did you guys ever work together with the licensing. I would love to work with her, but in this area, I'm the most successful licensed guy up here. That's my area. And I'm a brand builder. I built my own brand, right, from the ground up out of my extra bedroom. So I'm um, going to interpret so that for you. They you said go. no, they don't want to work together. What do you want to do? You can counter. You want to counter? Yeah. Would you be interested at 15%? I'd like to stay at 20. Okay. I'm gonna let you make the call. She makes a decision. <laughs> I respect both of you guys, well, all of you guys anyways. Absolutely. But I think we're gonna go with Kendra at the 20. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Let me make some sand castles oh, together. Man. I'm so excited. Thank you. Oh my God. Let's Congrats, go. Guys. Thank well you. Done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Sorry, Damon. Thank you so much.